emergency time, breaking news time. Yes, you heard it right. Here for the first time, probably not the first time because you either know about this or you already saw someone else react to this, even though this is pretty fresh. So, uh, just a few like hours ago, one hour ago actually, Assassin's Creed Shadows dropped its new trailer and you already heard a little bit of it by mistake. Uh, so I'm gonna actually check this out with you guys. Uh, this is, uh, you know, kind of the breaking news sort of stuff. Actually, there are a few trailers that dropped that I kind of want to react to. This is one of them, and another one is going to be for a horror game. And by the way, just uh, a hint, a TV show by the name of Dune was also dropped. You can go check that out. I'm not going to react to that as well, but you can go check it out, just for you to know. Okay, get to the trailer. Okay, so I'm going to react to this uh, video actually right now. Uh, if you want to see the whole video, it's actually in the description down below. Uh, I'm gonna probably talk a little bit over it just so I get any copyright, even though most probably I will get it anyway. But yeah, let's actually get into this because I'm really excited. Let's go. I'm actually slow. Actually, take this just a little more down. After so long, Assassin's Creed finally does what the fans wanted for so long. He go in Japan. Let's go. Who are you? Who do you serve? I mean, look, for all the shit I talked about Ubisoft, there's one thing they always get right. And that is, of course, cutscenes. My boys out there are cooking when it comes to cutscenes, man. You gotta give them that. I can already hear people talking of uh, how this has to be like Ghost of Tsushima. And uh, yeah, I mean, or the Rise of Ronin also, because it was the latest. But really, Ghost of Tsushima is going to be the biggest comparison. So we have like ninjas versus samurais or something? Oh, ships are back. Yeah, let's go. Call him Bones, go fuck yourself. Here we are with a real pirate. <laughs> Vengeance. All right, there we go. Dude, you gotta give it to them. They have the coolest trailers ever. I don't care who says what, Assassin's Creed knows how to make a trailer for a video game. I know it's only cinematic, so yeah, there's that, but uh... This gets me, it gets me excited. So this is... Or choose another path beyond what we see. Wait, what? So you can play with both of them? Together. Oh, okay. Because they're gonna do like the Greek stuff. Where you can choose if you're playing one or the other character, okay. But here you choose either as a samurai, either as a ninja, alright. I mean, look, I'll be totally honest with you. We played samurai a lot. I mean, I played samurai in Ghost of Tsushima a lot. I wanna go the ninja way. And I, I think she's gonna be just a little cooler just because she can do all this stuff. I don't know how he can be as cool as she can. Yeah, copyright, that's for sure. If this song doesn't get me copyrighted, I don't know what will. Uh, I have to probably take this uh, even lower as a volume. I'm really sorry. Uh, and I had to talk a lot over it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Look, the setup is... I mean, again, the setup is literally perfect for an Assassin's Creed uh, screen game. And he's probably gonna be a little more, you know, combat like ready kind of stuff while the ninja like she will be way more stealth which um i'm i'm totally for again i'm more excited for the ninja side of it because i always thought that if they're going to make this they're going to make it as if you know ninjas are gonna be the assassins samurais are the templars oh wait wait, wait. was that a just get back there for just one second and you hit them light oh yeah 
Okay, an angular one. November 15, 15, 2024, coming for us. Pre-order available already. Actually, well, I'm not going to pre-order. And by the way, this is a, a big advice I, I would give to you. Never pre-order a game. There are going to be a lot of reviewers and a lot of reviews on YouTube and really everywhere. Wait for the game to come out first. I know you're probably going to be excited, but to be totally honest with you, do you really want to miss, uh, like, to buy a game that's not that good? I don't think so. I, I do have high hopes for this one. Uh, for those that don't know, though, this is going to be the new style of Assassin's Creed. So Assassin's Creed basically split lately. You have Assassin's Creed, the old version, the old style, which is more um, story-driven and, uh, you know, not as open world. Uh, and the new ones, which is, uh, which this one is gonna be that, uh, which is uh, RPG, open world, all that stuff. Um, I'm actually a bigger fan of the older ones, but I have to say that with this one, I actually might enjoy the, the open world a little more. Especially because, look, if Ubisoft can be given something in a game, it's the fact that their worlds are, are astonishing. Really, like always, the, their worlds look probably the best. And you gotta give it to them. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, but here I was actually super surprised. Where is the, this shot? So it's uh, kind of hinting already to so the fact that you can choose like two paths. I wonder if you can actually change throughout the story because I, I don't exactly remember about the um, Assassin's Creed mythologies. Is that what it was called? I'm actually... I, I forgot. Anyway... You kind of get a point, right? The the Greek one where I think you choose a character and just go with that for the rest of the game. I would like here to actually be different, you know what I'm saying? To like be able to choose which mission you do with whom. Uh, they kind of had that a little bit in Syndicate, if you do remember that. Uh, it was you playing with both the brother and the sister. Uh, this shot here is though so cool. Congrats to that, man. I mean, these kind of shots, I always love these. So cool. But what I wanted to really look at, look at, it was, where was it? I think it was actually before, yeah, right here. This is what really gives me hope. And Skull and Bones, go fuck yourself, because I think Ubisoft just killed their own game already. <laughs> uh, because, so the other games from the new versions of Assassin's Creed, so Origins and Valhalla and Mythologies? I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway. Uh, those games did have ship battles, however, they were not implemented as they were in Black Flag. The reason for it mostly was because of the way the ships were actually uh, built and, you know, the way they actually thought of the world. Uh, those ships just wouldn't have existed. However, here in Japan, in this time, they actually do exist. So this is basically, I expect at least, to have a very similar system uh to black flags ship battle and honestly i think that is absolutely perfect i don't think you can fail with that and uh genuinely i i think they they uh might just have this one honestly um they totally got me excited for this one uh really again way more excited for her character way more excited for the ninja side of things for the more assassin thing the stealth missions uh, however, I cannot deny the fact that, you know, some battles with, like, these sort of, you know, clubs and, like, the, the samurai, I hope they have the showdowns. Remember in Ghost of Tsushima, those showdowns you can actually make with certain enemies? I would hope to have those here as well, because those are so cool all the time. Uh, so yeah, I am super excited for this game to actually show up. I'm super happy Ubisoft is back in town finally with something new because Ubisoft was in kind of deep trouble. Uh, they did not have a new game that is pretty popular for some time now, which I'm pretty sure they know and they were pretty scared of as well. And everyone was waiting for the Assassin's Creed Shadows to show up. Everyone waited and everyone asked for it for a, a very long time, I think. Since Origins, I think, uh, because no one knew what Origins would actually be, and everyone hoped it's actually not going to be in uh, Egypt, and it's going to be in Japan. Uh, since then, it was just a constant build-up, and finally we get there. And I really, really do hope Ubisoft can st uh, stuck the landing with this one. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful for this one, and I'm pretty sure they will do it. So, 
uh, please go if you want and check out the video yourself. Uh, and tell me if you actually are excited for this game or if there are any other games this year that you are excited for. With this being said, uh, this was all from me and from this news and I have another video that you might want to watch. But if you don't and if you want to know about all the videos, subscribe and leave a like if you do want to. Bye! Why do I always do this? I don't know. It's kind of strange, isn't it? Whatever.